I'm gonna live it to the group one second. Shall I go ahead and start? Right now. All right. So welcome, everybody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so as most of you know, June is Acne Awareness Month. So I obviously reached out to Katie to help us because she is amazing with acne. Um, and here we go. <laughs> uh, thanks for inviting me today. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> And, you know, most of you know that acne is one of my favorite topics <laughs> to talk about. And so today's topic, I'm going to discuss some essential nutrients for clear skin. Um, because even though a lot of people that suffer from acne are focusing on their gut health as well as their nutrition, sometimes they may be lacking in um, a few key uh, nutrients to get them to their clear skin journey. So let's go ahead and um, start the process. So hormonal imbalance, the endocrine system is a delicate balance system designed to deliver specific hormones in specific amounts to different receptor sites throughout the body. Hormones and hormone imbalances don't exist in a vacuum. When one hormone is off, it's likely there's at least one other hormone imbalance present as well. It all comes back to the interplay of the endocrine glands and the hormones they produce, which are supposed to create overall balance. But one out of two player can have an impact on other players and ultimately the entire performance. While any gender can have hormonal acne in their adult life, it typically affects women more than men. Studies have shown that about 50% of the women population ages of 20 to 29 deal with acne, and 25% of the women ages 40 to 49 also deal with it. Why do women experience more hormonal acne than men? Well, we're special. Women tend to experience more hormonal fluctuations compared to men due to puberty, menstrual cycles, pregnancy, perimenopause, and of course, menopause. And these are some of the contributing causes of acne. So we have hormonal changes, especially androgens during puberty and pregnancy, excess of sweating, medications like birth control pills, iodide, lithium, bromide, chemicals having dioxins and steroids, a diet rich in carbohydrates like chips or bread, insufficient water intake, refined sugar consumption, hereditary, weather changes, humidity, stress, excess use of beauty products, smoking and alcohol consumption, dandruff causes acne on your forehead, air pollution, and overwashing your face can worsen acne. But hormonal acne often occurs when a woman's hormone levels fluctuates. Fluctuations of estrogen, 
progesterone and testosterone can cause acne to pop up. Typically, these fluctuations happen mostly during menstrual cycles, pregnancy, and menopause. During these times of increased hormones, the body produces more sebum, which is an oily, waxy substance. This leads to inflammation changes in skin cell activity and colonization of bacteria in the hair follicles. With this combination, acne starts to appear. Medications, antibiotics, specific foods, depression, anxiety, stress, and other mental trigger elements can also cause this as well as we discussed earlier. So these are the eight common hormonal imbalances in women. High cortisol, lower cortisol, low progesterone, excess or high estrogen, low estrogen, excess androgens, low androgens, and low thyroid. So that's an awful lot. All right, so let's get into the supplements. So vitamin A, as most of us, we tend to recommend um, retinol or retinoids to help with acne but it's also important to feed the skin with vitamin A. So vitamin A, as we know, is an essential nutrient that our body requires to maintain a healthy immune system. Unlike most nutrients, our body does not produce this vitamin and depends on external sources to meet the required amount. When it comes to skin retinoids, a type of vitamin A is recommended by our skin experts. Topical application retinoids help treat mild to moderate acne can also be easily added to the skincare routine. However, making sure you're using the vitamin for acne in the right concentration for your skin type. I always consult a dermatologist before introducing this into skincare routine. And you can also eat foods rich in vitamin A to reap its benefits and reduce the acne. So vitamin A is very important to the skin. It is great for producing um, skin-forming collagen and elastin, which helps minimizes fine lines and wrinkles. Exposure to UVA rays can lead to hyperpigmentation in spots. One of the many benefits of vitamin A is that it helps reverse some of this damage. It's also a mild exfoliating properties that helps slough off away dead skin cells, thereby preventing acne and clogged pores. It also stimulates fibroblasts, which makes the skin youthful and radiant. It helps normalize oil production. This makes the skin less oily and prevents breakouts. Also known for supporting the skin's immune system by promoting natural moisturizing factors and speeding up healing. It promotes a healthy dermis and epidermis, the two protective layers of the skin. So foods rich in vitamin A are your eggs, your dark green vegetables, cod liver oil, and orange and yellow fruits. The recommended daily allowance for um, adults 19 and older is 900 micrograms and for men and then 700 micrograms for women. The next one is your B vitamins. So each B vitamin has a job, but as a group, they contribute to hormone balance and cellular health, impacting hormonal acne. B vitamins support the liver, which helps with detoxification and estrogen dominance. Vitamin B6 can also help rebalance hormones by elevating progesterone and dropping estrogen. B vitamins are also necessary for energy metabolism and function within your cells, and a deficiency of B vitamins can lead to dry skin and acne. A good B complex provides all the B vitamins in one place, so they can be targeted addition to your hormonal acne toolkit. And these are the uh, B complex brands that I recommend. Um, they have the right amounts of B7 and B12 because we do need those B vitamins, but it's the dosage that is important. You don't want to have um, too much B7 or too much B12 
because they are known to trigger acne. So if you're looking for a great B complex, AOR is more of a high-end brand. If you're looking for more an affordable brand, the now B50 complex in Nature's Way is a more affordable brand. And Thorn Research is sort of in between the two. So these um, should not cause you acne um, because the B7 and the B12 are quite low. And B3. So I'm going to talk about just a couple of very key B vitamins. So B3, niacin, properly, properly known as niacinamide in skincare is nothing but vitamin B3 and is naturally found in the body, but only in small amounts. Your body depends on external sources to get its daily dose of vitamin B3. It is needed to support the nervous system, fight fatigue, and maintain healthy skin. Vitamin B3 effectively treats acne in both topical and oral forms. Using serums, moisturizers, or night creams with niacinamide helps control excess sebum production and thereby helps reduce acne. To reap the benefits of the vitamin for acne, you can eat the foods as I mentioned here. Uh, another great thing about B3, um, it's great for strengthening the epidermal barrier, reduces signs of aging, corrects pigmentation and uneven skin tone, and decreases skin sensitivity. And the B3 uh, rich foods is the oily fishes, eggs, milk, and chicken. You don't need a lot for B3. For men, you only need 19 micrograms, or sorry, milligrams. And then for women, we need 18. Another B vitamin is your B5. So vitamin B5 or panthenolic acid is naturally present in foods, added to foods and available as a supplement. It is used to make coenzyme A, a chemical compound that helps enzymes to build and break down fatty acids, as well as perform other me metabolic functions and an aqua carrier protein, which is also involved in building fat. Panthenoic acid is found in a wide variety of foods. Bacteria in the gut can also produce some panthenoic acid, but not enough to meet dietary needs. As a humectant, B5 preserves moisture in the skin, which improves skin elasticity and contributes to a more hydrated looking face. Skin since hydrated skin is also more resilient, B5 can help prevent acne and reduce the signs of aging. So foods that are rich in B5, mushrooms, avocado, sweet potato, legumes, chicken, turkey, and broccoli. The RDA for men and women is about five milligrams, so it's not an awful lot. Another great one is your B6. B6 is a water-soluble vitamin found naturally in many foods, as well as added to foods and supplements. PLP is the active coenzyme form and most common measure of B6 blood levels in the body. PLP is a coenzyme that assists more than 100 enzymes to perform various functions, including the breakdown of proteins, carbohydrates and fats, maintaining normal levels of homeocysteine, since high levels can cause heart problems, and supporting immune function and brain health. Another major stress buster, B6 helps to regulate mood and sleep by aiding the body in producing serotonin, which is the happy hormone, melatonin, the sleep hormone, and norepinephrine, a stress hormone among others. Both stress and inadequate sleep raise inflammation in the body, reduce cell regeneration, and contribute to dryness, all factors that lead to breakouts and premature aging. Foods rich in B6 is tuna, 
turkey, beef, chicken, potatoes, sunflower seeds, spinach, and bananas. And for men, the daily requirements is 1.3 milligrams. And then for women, it's 1.2 milligrams. Vitamin C. The strongest and most effective of vitamins is vitamin C. It's loaded with antioxidants. It fights a number of ailments. Packed with nutrients, this vitamin for acne also works on dark spots, uneven skin tone, and other skin problems to make it healthy and glowing. That's not all. Vitamin C possesses anti-inflammatory properties that heal acne and acne wounds. It also reduces inflammation and redness associated with acne. You can add vitamin C infused skincare products into your routine to tackle a number of skin problems. Dermatologists often recommend vitamin C supplements to those with acne prone skin. However, you can also obtain the benefits of the vitamin for acne through food. So the many benefits vitamin C has for our skin for anti-aging, fights free radical damage, helps brighten the skin, improves skin texture, keeps your skin moisturized, heals and repairs skin, prevents sunburns, and prevents skin discoloration. And the foods that are high in vitamin C are lemon, oranges, gooseberry, capsium, and broccoli. And the recommended daily allowances for adults 19 and older is 90 milligrams. And for women, um, 75. And vitamin D. One of the best natural sources of vitamin D is the sun rays. However, UV rays can damage the skin in several ways and cause premature aging, sunspots, and other skin problems. Vitamin D is formed when your body is exposed to the sun, and one of its functions is to fight germs that are essential in maintaining clear and healthy skin. Some studies have found that those with acne had low levels of vitamin D in the body. You can allow the body to absorb early morning sun rays as they are less harsh Do wear your sunscreen. Thankfully, this vitamin for acne can also be obtained through food. Vitamin D, particularly vitamin D3, is actually a hormone. This vitamin helps support the health of your brain, your immune system, and nervous system. Vitamin D3 also helps regulate insulin levels and stabilizes blood sugar levels, which is important for preventing hormonal imbalances related to diabetes. It is a fat-soluble vitamin that acts as a pro-hormone and influences the production, metabolism, and function of various hormones, including estrogen, testosterone, insulin, and thyroid hormones. Vitamin D receptors are found in various hormone-sensitive tissues, such as the pituitary gland, thyroid gland, ovaries, and testes indicating that vitamin D plays a crucial role in regulating hormone production and function of these hormones. The other benefits of vitamin D is strengthens the bones, helps strengthen muscles, supports the immune system and fights inflammation, supports oral health, and helps battle depression. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to get the right amount of vitamin D, especially if you live in northern climate or spend most of your time indoors. Without enough vitamin D, inflammation builds and the skin becomes irritated. This can exacerbate inflammatory issues like acne, rosacea, or eczema. Vitamin D deficiency can also be at the root of hormone imbalance, triggering issues like hormonal acne. Foods rich in vitamin D, orange juice, eggs, salmon, mushrooms, 
cod liver oil, and raw oysters. The RDA for adults is 15 micrograms for men and women. Vitamin E. Free radical damage causes the skin to lose its elasticity and leads to premature aging. Vitamin E delays the production of vitamin E in the body. This delays signs of aging and rejuvenates the skin. This fat-soluble vitamin also fights bacteria and prevents external aggressors from entering the body. Vitamin E, both in topical and oral forms, can reduce acne. In fact, a lot of people will use a vitamin E oil on their face to tackle a number of skin issues. This vitamin for acne is also added to a lot of moisturizers as it keeps the skin nourished for a long time without making it greasy. So the benefits for vitamin E, it reverses premature aging, cures sunburn, keeps your skin clean, reduces hyperpigmentation, fights against free radicals, and the foods that are rich in vitamin E are going to be your nuts, your seeds, your green vegetables, and especially almonds. And the recommended daily um, requirements is going to be 15 milligrams. So myo-inositol is often recommended for people with acne and PCOS or PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, which is often linked with acne. So acne is so common with PCOS because of the excess androgen production that leads to inflammation and hormonal imbalances. Myonistatol can help by reducing androgen production, reducing sebum production, and increasing insulin sensitivity. Imbalanced blood sugar causes your body to ramp up its insulin production, which triggers the ovaries to produce more testosterone, worsening adult acne. And this atoll is a vitamin similar in structure to a B vitamin, which helps to naturally regulate blood sugar. It does this by improving your sensitivity to insulin so that your body doesn't need to create as much to have the same response. In fact, inositol is so powerful at sensitizing your body to insulin that one study reported to produce the same effects as metformin, which is a common drug used to improve insulin sensitivity in diabetics. Another great supplement is omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids. Did you know that the human body is made up of approximately 37 trillion cells and each one of them contains important omega-3 fatty acids that the body needs to stay healthy and function normally? Evidence from over 30,000 studies conducted on EPA and DHA indicates they play important roles throughout the body as influential structural components of cell membranes. However, the human body can't produce essential fats needed to create these important omega-3 fatty acids on its own, which is why we must rely on outside sources like cold water fish and flaxseed to get the EPA and DHA we need for optimal cellular health and functioning. At its core, fish oil is basically fat that has been extracted from the tissues sometimes even the liver of fish. Fish is a dietary staple with the World Health Organization, recommending one to two portions of it on a weekly basis. This can also be replaced with fish oil capsules that are available in both prescription and over-the-counter varieties. At its core, fish oil is basically fat that has been extracted. Oops, sorry, I didn't realize this, I double booked this. Um, paragraph. My apologies. Um, so the benefits of omega-3 is that it helps reduce inflammation, help 
helps delay skin aging, helps alleviate psoriasis, helps boost hair growth, um, avoids sun damage, reduces acne, supports heart health, supports in weight loss, and helps support low blood pressure. Foods rich in omega-3 are going to be your salmon, your sardines, flaxseed, chia seed, and walnuts. So the RDA range is between 250 to 500 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA daily. However, taking higher amounts up to 5,000 milligrams daily has been shown to be safe with minimal risk at adverse side effects. Magnesium. Magnesium is a highly important and highly abundant mineral in the human body. Most of it is found in our bones, but it's in our soft tissues, including skin and muscles and our blood. Every single cell in your body needs magnesium. As such, it's one of the most plentiful minerals we have. It's responsible for over 600 different reactions in our body, from converting food into energy, to regulating our nervous system and muscle movements. Yet despite how important magnesium is for us and how most people have ample amounts, some of us aren't taking in enough. Lower levels of magnesium can be associated with various reasons, including chronic stress, poor digestion, and hormonal fluctuations. There are many benefits of magnesium, and here are some of my favorites. It reduces skin inflammation. Many skin conditions can cause dryness and itchy skin. It's important to note that it isn't strictly true that magnesium does help itchy skin or that a magnesium deficiency causes dry skin. However, one of the main skincare benefits of magnesium is that it can help reduce the inflammations caused by conditions that lead to dry and itchy skin, such as eczema. Reduces the low mood. Magnesium is really important for brain function. Lower levels are associated with higher rates of depression. Having a diet rich in magnesium can help to reduce low mood. It helps with PMS systems, premenstrual syndrome, Syndrome and managing the cyclical issues brought about by your menstrual cycle often feature highly in women's chosen beauty and wellness routines. Magnesium could be an important part of this. Not only does magnesium improve your mood, but it's also been shown to help with water retention and abdominal cramps. Protects your skin. Magnesium helps to ensure your skin is armored against external damage as it regulates cellular regeneration and repair. Every day, your skin is under attack from free radicals. This is one of the most important magnesium benefits for skin and hair because it actively helps your skin in terms of protection and recovery. Foods rich in magnesium, legumes, dark leafy green vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, fortified cereals, fish, poultry, and beef. Recommend daily allowances for men is going to be between 4 and 420 milligrams, and for women it's going to be 310 to 320 milligrams. Zinc. Many health practitioners recommend zinc in their approach to hormonal acne. Zinc is a mineral involved in skin health and collagen synthesis. It helps with acne in several ways, including lowering sebum production, possibly by reducing androgens, and helping to proper level, maintain proper levels of inflammation. Yes, while too much inflammation is problematic, the body does need to maintain healthy levels as part of our immune defense. Inflammation contributes to breakouts by worsening acne and by delaying healing. Zinc also has antimicrobial properties, 
which can help reduce bacteria on the skin that contribute to acne. Several studies show that taking 400 to 600 milligrams of zinc sulfate each day for 12 weeks reduced inflammatory acne and had similar results as taking antibiotics, a treatment often used for severe acne. This is considered a high dose of zinc. High doses of zinc are associated with upset stomach and nausea, whereas low zinc levels are also associated with more severe breakouts. Part of the reason a study would use a high zinc concentration is because of the form of zinc administered. Zinc sulfate is not, not as bioavailable and easily absorbed as other forms. So if you use a more readily available zinc, then benefits may be seen at lower dosages. So the foods rich in zinc are going to be your shellfish, your beef, poultry, pork, beans, legumes, and pumpkin seeds. And you only need 11 milligrams a day for men and about eight milligrams a day for women. Probiotics. So probiotics are a beneficial microorganism that help support the health of the gut, which in turn can support overall health and well-being. Probiotic supplements can help balance hormones by impacting the gut-brain access. This is a bio-directional communication pathway between the gut and the brain. Also, there is a specific community of gut flora called estrobolum, which produces an enzyme that supports the metabolism of estrogen. In turn, this is essential for conception. Probiotics help to support the hormone balance by regulating the immune system. Probiotics can help to reduce inflammation in the gut, which can help to prevent hormonal imbalances caused by infection or inflammation. 70% of your immune system resides in your gut. Improving digestion. Probiotics can help to improve the digestion and absorption of nutrients, which can help to support hormone balance. Gut-brain access. Probiotics can help to regulate the gut-brain access, which can help to regulate hormone production and release. It also helps by reducing stress and anxiety. Probiotics help to reduce stress and anxiety, which can help to prevent hormonal imbalances caused by stress. Supporting the production of neurotransmitters. Probiotics can help to support production of neurotransmitters, such as serotonin, which is made in your gut, which can help to regulate mood and can affect hormone levels. Probiotic foods, you're going to find them in yogurt, kefir, kombucha, sauerkraut, pickles, miso, tempeh, kimchi, and sourdough breads. And these are the three brands that I would typically recommend clients um, for probiotics. So we have Primal Defense Ultra and Renew Life 50 um, Billion. Both of those are available at drugstores. Gut Pro is available um, online. And now prebiotics. So prebiotics are a type of specialized plant fiber that feed the microbes in your gut and stimulate the growth of healthy bacteria. They are found in fruits and vegetables that contain complex carbohydrates like fiber and starch. These carbs can't be digested by your body. So they bypass the digestive system and travel to your colon where your gut's microorganisms metabolize and ferment the prebiotics. When prebiotics are broken down, it creates different short chain fatty acids. These short chain fatty acids improve your metabolic and overall health by helping provide energy to your colon cells, producing necessary mucus, and aiding in reducing inflammation and promoting immunity. 
In short, think of prebiotics as the fertilizer to help good bacteria grow. So what's the difference between pro and prebiotics? Both prebiotics and probiotics support healthy bacteria and organisms in your gut to aid in digestion, but they help in different ways. Probiotics are live organisms, typically certain strains of bacteria and yeast that are found in certain foods and actually add to the number of microbes already living in the gut. Prebiotics are not living organisms. They are naturally occurring food components. Prebiotics serve as a source of food for the probiotics to grow. So probiotics actually need prebiotics in order to work effectively to improve and maintain your gut health. So benefits of prebiotics is it improves your digestion, boosts your immune system, betters your hormone health, stronger bones, and promotes weight loss. So prebiotic foods would be your fruits, your vegetables, your legumes, and your whole grains. So I'm gonna go over some herbs that may help assist with hormone balance. So Vitex, also known as chasberry, is used to treat a variety of different conditions, such as PMS, infertility, acne, and more. It is an ideal herb to balance female hormones. Vitex works by decreasing levels of prolactin, which in turn balances out estrogen and progesterone. Chaseberry can be found in teas or supplements. Raspberry leaf. Tea is a common herb to balance female hormones. The plant compound in rad raspberry leaves may have antioxidant effects that can help to relax blood vessels. These compounds may also have a muscle relaxation effect, depending on the amount consumed, making them useful for menstrual cramps in some women. Red raspberry leaf tea is also often used during late pregnancy to support labor and delivery. Black cohosh is often used to treat menopause symptoms such as hot flashes, moodiness, excessive sweating, and more. It is also used in inducing labor in pregnant women, premenstrual syndrome, and dysmenorrhea for those that suffer from painful periods. Black cohosh is an excellent herb to balance female hormones because it is a phytoestrogen, which can help to lower elevated estrogen or raise low estrogen. Black cohosh is often found in a supplement form. Do not use this herb if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. And the next one is donkey, which is known as a female ginseng. It is a herb typically used in traditional Chinese medicine. It has been used for centuries as a herb to balance female hormones and prevent symptoms of PMS. It has also been shown to balance levels of estrogen, which which in turn alleviates common symptoms of menopause or PMS. It can be found in a supplement form or you can purchase it as a tea. Fenugreek seeds contain phytoestrogens, which help to balance estrogen, making it an excellent herb to balance female hormones. Studies show that fenugreek may be helpful with painful periods. This herb may also help to increase low testosterone and improve low libido in women. It can also be found in tea, supplements, or spices. Dandelion root is high in plant estrogens and plays a significant role in the detoxification of the body, which plays a crucial role in detoxifying excess hormones in the body. This herb may help to prevent constipation, which is an important step in clearing hormones from the body. It can be found in tea or supplement forms. Cramp bark, just as the name implies, is a herb that alleviates menstrual cramps. It acts as a muscle relaxer, reducing the pain of menstrual cramps. Though struggling with PMS symptoms and painful cramps, 
could benefit from must relaxant effects of cramp bark. Ginger is another amazing herb to balance female hormones. It has been used as a spice for its many medicinal properties. Ginger has a ton of anti-inflammatory properties commonly used to treat nausea. Ginger reduces the production of prostaglandins, which in turn reduces common symptoms associated with PMS, such as cramps, mood swings, and headaches. Ginger can be found in tea supplements and spices and can even be used in your smoothies. And I have a few teas that I want to recommend as well. Um, chamomile tea helps relax the body and mind, it is most commonly found in sleepy time blends, but this tea can be consumed at any time of day. It shouldn't make you overly sleepy, just to relax and calm. We live in a very stressful modern world. It's also anti-inflammatory properties and is very soothing for the gut, which makes it helpful when it comes to healing acne as inflammation in the body and gut can aggravate acne. Dandelion root tea, so we've already discussed this. I don't need to go on too much into it, but it does help with detox and it can help stimulate digestive secretions such as stomach acid bile and digestive enzymes to help optimize entire digestive systems. Hibiscus is rich in antioxidants, including vitamin C and beta carotene. These antioxidants help to neutralize oxidative stress, which is one of the drivers of inflammation in the body. When healing acne, it's important to reduce inflammation as much as possible, as inflammation is one of the driving factors of acne. Hibiscus can also help to reduce insulin levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Elevated blood sugar and insulin levels trigger more sebum production and inflammation, which clogs up pores, leading to acne. Holly basil is one of my favorite aptogenetic herbs. What does this mean? Aptogens are herbs that help your body adapt to the effects of stress. This herb helps to keep you calm yet alert. It's also been used for thousands of years as Ayurvedic medicine for many different ailments and many yogis have used it before. Long periods of meditation to help calm and focus the mind. It is great for those who are stressed as it helps to balance cortisol and reduce feelings of stress and anxiety. It also helps to reduce elevated of blood sugar, which is so important when it comes to healing acne, as mentioned earlier. Further, it has antimicrobial properties, which can help reduce the activity of C. acnes, which is largely responsible for acne. Spearmint tea. Research has been shown that drinking two cups of Spearmint tea a day must be spearmint and not peppermint and reduce elevated levels of testosterone in women. Elevated testosterone and androgen levels are among the main drivers of hormonal acne in adult women. Lower levels of testosterone lead to decreased sebum production, which results in fewer breakouts. So I've added a few brands. I know you guys are going to ask me which brands to recommend. So on the column on the left, these are the best supplement brands to recommend. As estheticians, it's out of scope for you guys to recommend supplements, but you can have a healthy conversation without blending the, the lines too much because clients are going to ask you. They trust you. They want your help. So you can recommend these brands. And if it's about budget, these are great affordable brands that are going to be just as effective as well. And I also want to mention that, you know, I do have an acne course for estheticians in case you didn't know. So you can sign up for it today. It is on sale for $350 US. You can use the coupon code ACNE2023. And I believe um, 
Maria will send you a link on with the live as well. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm also a functional nutritionist. So if you guys are having some other um, hormone or gut health issues, by all means, I can work alongside you with that today. So feel free to reach out and set up a 30 minute consultation and we can go from there. Do you guys have any questions? I do want to give a little bit of time for you guys to turn on your mics, put it on the chat to ask questions. I can't see any questions being asked at the moment. No, I'm watching it. There's no question. Yes, I missed the first part. So <laughs> two part, two things. One, it will be sent out via newsletter. Give me Sunday because there are some I still need to send out. Um, it's also already pinned in the group to the top. So I like to do both because some people like to. So we do send it out newsletter. And then currently it's already being streamed into the group and it's pinned to the top of the group. So you could watch the beginning as well. And I can always check back later for any questions that pop up and answer away. I was actually like screenshotting a bunch because I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I love the spearmint tea because I do think that when I tell my clients like, hey, you guys should have some kind of tea, like the spearmint tea specifically, it yeah. does really actually help clear their skin. I'm just like, maybe because they're detoxing, like that makes sense now. Well, it, it is in a way, right? Because, you know, you want to use food as medicine. Um, and we tend to rely on, on Western medicine um, prescriptions to fix acne. And it doesn't necessarily fix acne. It can also, it often exacerbates acne or suppresses mm -hmm. your immune system. So by utilizing food, whether it's spices or herbs or teas or whole foods, you're fueling your body to feed what it needs to work optimally. Yeah. There was a question that said, I saw milk listed for vitamin D. Obviously, we all know that dairy can be an acne trigger. Any clarification, dosage, et cetera? Well, that's the thing. For most people, acne, sorry, milk is very um, pro-inflammatory. So I generally don't recommend resorting to dairy but there is a small percentage of people that can drink milk without any issues. Um, so, you know, it's fortified with vitamin D. Um, one or two glasses a day if you're not sensitive to dairy. Those of us that are dairy sensitive, like myself, I resort to other foods and take a supplement as well, because I also don't go out in the sun as much as I should, but I'm sun sensitive, so... <laughs> I'd rather supplement. Totally. I love that you put also the teas in there. Like, um, so when clients, because clients do ask me like, what kind of supplements do you recommend? And I'm like, um, omegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine line because as estheticians, we're not allowed to talk about that. But I think right. there's a safe way to have that conversation without implicating. Um, you're not allowed to. Because people are going to ask, they trust us, right? They tr they tell us their deep dark secret. <clears throat> they unleash, you know. I have my husband this morning. My I have a kid that's rotten, right? So, so all we can say is like, you know, I've read research, or I, you know, I saw this article, um, or my friend Katie, who's a nutritionist up in Canada, she recommends. <laughs> but you also want to encourage your clients to do their own research as well. Right, you want to empower them to, That's a good to, point. to to have the research and talk to the doctor because some supplements can affect medication that they might be on. They may um, and dosage does matter, right? Because you know what was it? Is it biotin? I believe that um, alters some blood test results. Um, so you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. So it is about dosage. But yeah, before I became a nutritionist, I would just tell my clients, you know, this is what has been recommended based on research and trainings that I've taken. By all means, here's some links I can share with you. Please do your own research and talk to your doctor about it. I love that. Um, Anna, Anna asked, can you elaborate on the vitamin D absorptions and SPF? 
how much exposure time with or without SPF, is there still sufficient absorption? The It's about 10 to 20 minutes, usually before 10 a.m. It's because 11, between 11 and 5, um, 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. is when it's like, gets really, really hot and it, you can burn in five minutes. Um, so if you get out in the sun as the sun's rising, um, you know, up here, our sunrise right now is at 5.30 a.m. So I could sit on my front porch with a cup of coffee for 20 minutes and then go back inside. Um, I'm not going to get a sunburn because it's 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> so generally 10 to 20 minutes if you want to do it that way, but do it before it gets too hot. Um, but wear your SPF. <laughs> Okay, if there's no more questions. All right. So well. I was like, did you, yeah, you have your website up. So if you guys yep. wanna ask, she, I'm gonna tag her again in the group. Um, you're always so wonderful answering and helping. So thank you so much. Thanks Maria, uh, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Oh my God, anytime. Thank you for making the time to be here. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, always well, thank happy you. to help. Thank you, thank you. Thanks hon, take care. Okay, bye.